Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, in this video, basically, I'm just going to be decorating the cover of my sketchbook, doing something a little different today. Um, we're including the art part of this channel. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be decorating my cover with this character, some little letters and some maybe and glitter and hopefully some stencils. And let's just see how that turns out. <laughs> you might know me from instagram as a conspect planner and basically what we do here on my channel is i do a lot of plan with me videos uh, monthly plan with me weekly plan with me memory planning stuff like that and today i'm including the art part of my channel into a video and just showing you um what kind of art i like to create and how um i guess i craft and yeah, basically what I have in mind is um, to decorate this sketchbook so it doesn't look like this. This is not what I want it to look like. So I created this character. Her name is Ali. So I have this thing going on where I'm going to be, the character is going to be based on the first letter of the alphabet. So like she's going to be like, like the name of the character is going to be the letter of the alphabet, one of the letters. So the first, this is the first sketchbook. So it's A. And then the second would be something, a name starting with B. And then the third would be a name starting with C. So like that and like that. Until we get to the 26th sketchbook, which is, I don't know when. But when we get there, we'll just restart the whole cycle. And yeah, basically something fun that I just came up with. And this is how I originally created her. I had her envisioned to where, um... It's like an ice princess kind of situation. So I had her wear like this cape type of thing um, over her head, like a hood with, with the hood. And like you can see my process through here, the other color palettes that shows. I particularly don't like this ink because it did kind of spread with my markers. And yeah, basically have her in the pose, which I didn't kind of like hairstyles. And then this is the end result of the character. And then here, I kind of like vamped her up a little bit. This is on another marker paper. Um, yeah, this is on another marker paper. And I just vamped her up a little. And yeah, so I have made this with alcohol markers. And I'll link everything that I use in this video. And to create my sketches and everything down below. So I made her with alcohol markers. And um, I sprayed some fix it up over it just so it doesn't spread if I try to add glue over it. So yeah, and then these, however, are not sprayed. So I'm not sure how this is going to work out. But yeah, so basically what I want is her to be here. I want to sketch book one over here on the side. And then I want to add some of these like stencils in the background, maybe like this. And some over here and there. And then I want to add glitter on top of that. So for that, I have some Mod Podge. I have some water over here in the corner as well you can see my water over here and then i have some of these sponge sponge brushes that i'm going to be using they're one inch brushes which i probably should have cut open hold on let me do that and so these are one inch sponge brushes like these and i'm just going to be using this to um i guess you yeah glue on the girl and the last thing I have is some paper towels, and I'm going to get, like, um, maybe, like, a brown bag or something, because I have an Amazon mailer over there. I'll probably pick that up and just to, you know, flip her over and glue her with. So, yeah. So, I'm not really going to be talking a lot through this video, because um, when I do, like, artsy stuff, I really tend not to talk. So, basically, what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with um, just her here. I'm not gluing her down first. I'm going to use my sponge brush here. And then I'm going to add some stenciling. Like, I want to see where I can add some of this kind of stuff. I'm not sure if I want to add um, that on her, but I probably will. I have some of these stickers, like, on her hood. Not, like, these little itty bitty ones. On her hood. Just so it looks good. Maybe some here. I don't really like how it looks on there. So, yeah. Maybe... I'll use some of, um, there's like these dots. Like if you can see there's dots here, I'll use those on there. And maybe like this kind of pattern. Yeah, like that. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this brush to do that on the background right now. And then I'll come back and talk you through what I'm going to do next. Okay. So yeah.
okay so basically it is the next day and um as you can see i wasn't too happy with the results of the um sense song that i was doing but i did want to include that in there just because um you guys can see that sometimes things don't work out how we want them to so i did some stuff like a little bit off camera so this is um not the front cover but um i made this last night and this is like the front page of the book. Um, I'm kind of confused about her face. Like, I'm not sure if I like it, but um, I love the layout of it. Like, I love how it looks with the colors all matching. And then on top, it says sketch and everything like that. Because I'm trying to match it with my, um, because I'm trying to match it with my, um, front cover of the book. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, let's. So what I have also done is I've created these little snowflakes. So hold on, let me take this off. Hold on, let me just take out all this stuff and then I'll be right back. So basically what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna position everything here on the cover like that. And I think I'm gonna cut out the little white borders a little bit more just so they can fit. And then I've cut out um, snowflakes. I know I was trying to go for snowflakes, but then I've made like little snowflakes just to cover up that area there. So I can go there, and then this one can go here, and then I have a couple more over here, which if I want, I can cut out and stick them. So I'm going to do that instead of the whole stencil thing. And then I added a little um, embellishments to her cape, because that kind of cool. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to make these. I don't really want to remake them to fit um, how I want them to. But I'm just going to cut out the white corners a little bit more on some of them. Just so they can fit um, better. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to start off with the snowflake because I know where I want it to be. So hopefully this works and it's not a huge mess like it was yesterday. I do have water here and because my sponge is like dried a bit from yesterday I am trying to soak it um so I'm trying to soak it a little so it's not um stiff okay and then I'm just gonna dip this in the Mod Podge oh snap okay well you know what I'm gonna use this yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it on here in the position that I want it to, and I hope it sticks. Okay, so I do like how that looks. And then I just had my kid give me this Amazon bag. So I have um, more room to work. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to put everything on the side just because I don't want it spilling. And I'm doing the same thing for the princess. Putting on a bunch of this Mod Podge stuff. And by means, do not take this as like an expert tutorial or anything. I have no idea what I'm doing. I did watch a bunch of YouTube tutorials to tell me that I can um, decoupage, I believe that's what it's called, with this stuff. So I bought it and I was like, okay, cool. I'm not a huge fan. I'm just going to say I'm not a huge fan of these Arteza. Um, sketchbooks either because um well a couple of things the markers they kind of like um fray on it they're like fraying if that makes any sense hold on
Okay, so when I'm doing like something technical, I can't talk. That's just me. Okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, the marker paper. So this marker paper, it like bleeds, like on, on itself. If that makes any sense. Like when I was doing the lips over here, it was bleeding, and it's like a weird color of yellow. So I don't like that either. And yeah, basically those are the couple of things that I don't like about this paper. The only thing I do like about this paper is that is that um it blends really well. Like it helps the marker blend because the markers bleed. It starts to help um the markers blend. But I like how this paper makes them more vibrant and everything. I'm probably I have another one of these sketchbooks, so I am gonna be using it and then I'm not sure what my next sketchbook will be. But for now we're just sticking to this Arteza one. I'm not sure if this e this is even a marker textbook, um, sketchbook, sorry. It was on sale, and I always wanted an art, um, Arteza book. So I was like, you know what, let's just buy it. And then I bought it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this here and this a little here so you can see what I'm doing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, like, I'm going to position these. So that, um, they kind of fit. So this is book one. is going to go like this. So, T, C. I'm going to go from, because I want to cover this. I want to cover this part up. Like, she was supposed to go here, but I don't like how she looked over there. So, I didn't put her over there. that snowflake that's lying right there i'm not gonna add that one i'm just gonna leave it here and then now what i'm gonna do is like the scary part but i'm gonna do it and i hope i don't mess this up but i'm gonna cover the whole thing just to seal it all in so i'm gonna cover it with a coat of this mod podge stuff so let's see how that goes <laughs> So here is the final result of my sketchbook and basically I'm kind of really happy of how it turned out well the front cover I'm um, basically um, I let the Mod Podge sit for like overnight and um, the thing is so I did paint over the whole thing so the thing is it did add like a little layer of darkness over it so this is like the original color and this one is a little darker um, I mean I'm not sure if you can tell but this part is a little bluer this is more on the gray side. So it does do that. But I really love how this turned out. And I think it's better for me rather to use um, marker paper and markers to do my drawings. Instead of using my Posca pens or something like that. Because I really love how this looks. And yeah, basically, it's been a couple of days though since I did this. Did this but um, it's not budging. Like it's not coming off. I can't peel it off or anything. So that is something good. I did use a lot of Mod Podge to seal it all in. And um, the fine liner didn't run either, but um, 
I learned something, I guess. <laughs> so there are things I might change in my next sketchbook, which is hopefully um, soon to come as well as I'm trying to fill this up. So this would be my first page of the girl sketch and everything. And then I'm not too happy about... Yeah, so I'm not too happy about this one. I did mess up her nose, but I really love the pose and everything. Her eyes are kind of messed up too. Well, that's how I think about it. But, um, I mean, you know, every um, drawing is trial and error and you just kind of learn. And then I love how this turned out though, the sketch, sketchbook one. And then I have the start date and then I'll have the finish date there whenever I finish. And it kind of matches this, so I'm kind of happy with how that looks. And this is my vision board for 2023 that, that I've been working on. And basically that is it. I have another character in mind, but I'm not going to be doing her soon. I'm going fi to be finishing this up and going on from there. So basically this is, I guess, a tour. Not a tour. This is like um, somewhat like a grand opening kind of thing, but I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... Here's my sketchbook, the cover, and everything, and my camera is really shaking. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, it might have given you... Okay, so I'm just going to move my hands. So, yeah, I might have given you an idea for what to do if you um, love to do art and want to draw on your sketchbook, and you really can't, I guess. Like, I wouldn't suggest you draw on your um, cover with, like, marker, like, if it's a cloth ish kind of color cover i wouldn't suggest that but yeah this is like another option and it looks pretty and i mean I, w I love picking it up every day and just trying to see what i can do in it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and you know the drill if you're um, new here subscribe or consider um or consider subscribing and I like this video and i hope you have a great happy and a healthy day and i know the holidays are near so happy holidays everyone bye <laughs>